All right, what I wanted to do tonight is continue with what we were doing with the binary search trees. And I wanted to expand it beyond using integers. Right now we're using integers. Uh, but I copied over the information from person. And I thought we'd do that. Like, make this a person thing. So everywhere I have person here, in here, I'm going to have it do person. Find depth needs to find the person. We'll just edit our codes. We're going to have to stop and think about what we want to do here. I don't know. It's just adding the person. That's fine. We can have a person stored in the data. That's what it's supposed to do. Well, look at look at that right now. See, it's already telling me it's got a problem with comparing people. So we're going to have to address that. If we want to expand this beyond doing people, or beyond basic, the uh, inherent things like uh, integer and double and shit like that. We're going to have to expand it to figure out how to, what do we do with something that isn't a standard thing? Like how do we, what do we define, how do we compare people? see we might have to relook at how what we do here so there's several things we're going to have to look at uh and it's highlighting a lot in red if you can see as soon as i switch to person it's putting a lot of shit in red it's like wait a second we don't have a way of dealing with that so uh, when we'd worked with persons in the past, we'd make a couple of comparators. Uh, I'm going to change these so they're not doing pointers. We stop people. And so do we could decide, do we want to compare based on age? Do we want to compare based on last name? First name? How do we want to do it? Do we want to do last name, then first name? Let's say we're going to go by age. Let's come down and, oh, what is this? Oh, shit. I got to come up here and change that. Let's go pull this over. Lots of stuff to change. Okay, so I've got a person there. Red stuff down here is going okay. How do, you, how do we have a zero person? We can't. So maybe we'll just say no. Will that work? No, we don't even have anything defined as null for person. So maybe we need to make for our person, we've got a constructor like that, but maybe we should make a generic constructor. John Joe first name equals John one A zero A two. Okay. 
now maybe we can get, change all the shit. It's already going to happen. We'll come back to it in a sec. Now we'll just say it's like just a new person. Do that. I have that set up already. Full plus C. Didn't work. Where is person? There they are. I want to do this. I have a default. Yeah, I already have a set default right there. So maybe just. Okay, that did fix it. It's doing the default one there. And here we got to do the default one here. Oh, no, that's actually adding one. So that's creating a new tree, making a null person. Now we got to do this. So we want to use the compare thing here. Let's just say use the age one for now. Uh, what is it called? Compare age. Here we go. Okay, so let's stop and think about what we're doing here. So compare age is going to bring in two people. Person one and person two. And I believe compare age returns is checking less than. This has got pointers in here. Got change those. So if it's less than, that's how, that's good, because that's how the search tree works. The search tree needs to take in a less than. So our compare is set up to be less than. So if we want it right now, what we were doing, value is the one. So we got to compare it to what we got in our if statement right now. Value is the incoming person. And person and tank temp data is the stored person in the if statement below. So we want to mimic that using compare age. So like we're taking those, we're basically comparing the age here. We want to do, instead of that, we're going to do if compare age value temp dot data.
that should take in both it's, it's taking in a person value is a person temp data is storing a person and that should work we can comment out that code and that looks like what we're using need to use down here as well And then I'll comment out that bit. So that is replacing the value in the temp data and it's comparing a person. change the person. And the reason why we're doing it because like eventually we want to do it where code at line 23 has int up above. Damn it. I thought I already did that one. It doesn't like line 28. What's wrong with line 28? Maybe I need to declare the person stuff before. I do my class notes and stuff. Let's try that. Yeah, now it's not mad at admin. Okay. All right. So, admin node looks okay there. This is, so we've got our comparator in there. This ad, this one is looking fine. This is just returning the dev, that's fine. So this is interesting. It's like, how do we find the person? How do we search for a person match? Did we have person stuff in here or search set up in here? No, we did not. So we need to be able to compare two people. So maybe we need to do if I dot, let's see, what do we have available? I dot get age equals data dot get age. And everything needs to match. I dot get F name equals i dot last name and 
I dot. Oh wait, there's no way you get first name and get last name. I want data right there. And then we can do I dot get last name. If that equals data dot get last name. And finally, and I dot get gender equals data dot get gender. I don't like the way this looks. Do this. Make it two just because I can. I didn't do the parentheses. Now it's all on one screen. I'm not scrolling to try to read the damn shit. Actually, there's something to be said for doing this. If we break it up without the and here, now if any of these steps fails, it stops trying to do the if. That's doing the compare equals. Here we got to do the compare person. And we're doing compare age. Uh, so that was less than if we want it meant to highlight everything and copy it. If I want to do this one, we don't have less than, so maybe we got to do not less than. Comment out that. I think I want to have this up here too, where it's commented out. And this was if I equal data. Comment that, that one too.
So that's doing the compare on the nodes. Here we got a not see our data, but we want to do data dot report display. Comment that out. Comment that out. Okay, I think I went through and compared, changed everything. Only way we're going to know is if we give it a go. Copy. Keep the tree. And then I send it in a person. Let's start with me. So it doesn't like that. Maybe I need to do person. Person, temp person. And then just pass it into temp. What the fuck? Why is it a person is not an int? First, last, gender, age. There you go. You don't like the parentheses. I'm going to comment that out. Just see what we got. Oh, I don't have my tree anymore. So, people tree. All right, did we adapt it? Oh, cross your fingers. I don't see any red over here. That's a good sign. Holy shit! Boom! First try! That was nice. I pat myself on the back. All right, so uh, let's, let's get rid of all this. this. Is the old code? I'm gonna get rid of it. Now that we got it working, I can get rid of all this other crap. So 
I'm ready to make a few of these. And add in Barry Allen, the flash. And then to add him, we need to do people tree dot add node and then send in temp P. Did that work? Ah, I mess. There we go. Let's do a reverse order in there. James Bond. We will add in Diana Prince, Wonder Woman. They're all in there going by age order. Uh, we could change it where we're doing by last name then first name. This binary search tree very much depends on you using uh, unique entries. So it doesn't deal, there's nothing in there dealing with if they actually are the same entry. Uh, So, like, if you wanted to templatize this, oh, chat message. If we wanted to templatize this, what do we have to do here? Let's not start there. We can start here at noon. So, what if we want to templatize this? So you gotta add template information here. Change this to T data. Change this to find depth T. Got to add the oh. got to add the template info here. Change that to find depth t. Switch to t. And now we got some stuff going on here because when we switch to T, we have compare age in here. In there for the comparator. Okay. 
you're, it's going to be a little iffy what you do. Like, how do you templatize it when, like, we have default comparators for everything else? This is going to, this one's going to be tricky. I don't even know if we could. I don't even know if we, we're at that level where we want to even try. You would have to set up where it checks what type of data is coming in and choose the appropriate comparator. Might have to use type set. Where it shows the what type of object it is. So there's like templatizing this isn't going to be as e that easy at all. Uh, definitely, if you templatize it, if you were to templatize something like this, you would have to make a note to the user. Preferably near the top. Not near, but at the top. Letting them know that they need to customize the comparator and the print. And the display method in new. Methods. We had two ways of doing it. Didn't we? What do we have in Node? Yeah, we had report in order and report backwards. Oh, and the report methods. So we could make another comparator. Copy it, and I'm going to say it goes by last name, then first name, then age. Which seems like a better way of doing the comparison thing here. Where's my comparator? It's at the bottom. Nope, oh, you're right there. Oh, that's get person. So we probably want to re lead with uh, so if part one so I get last it's not taking it I need to have it there we go Taking it. Why is it not taking it? Okay, whatever. Okay. 
Yeah, you're missing a bracket for the above uh, function up there. The compare age for greater, you're missing one of the bra brackets. I did what? You're missing one of the brackets for compare age for greater. I think you overwrote it. And... Oh. Oh. There you go, thanks. See if R1 get last name. It's less than R2 get last name. And your parentheses. Those are these. Return zero. Uh, if r1 dot get last name equals r2 dot get last name then we want to do if r1 get first name it's an r2 First name. If that's the case, we're going to return zero. And then if not, if R1 get first name. equals R2 get first name. Then we got to delve down and go into H. Then we have another message. R1 get age. It's less than R2 get age. Return zero. And if one get age is greater than <laughs> R2 get age I'm going to return a one then we need something like I think it's going to fuck it up if we have it in here, but this is like if our, if this goes down the, the pipe and first name, last name, and age all match, we have the same person. So throw an exception maybe. And you are trying to add party in the system. Now I can go up here and change this to compare peeps. And 
that I'll sort by name. Last minute. We got it, so let me add in like another David Jones. Because you can't get enough David Joneses. I guess I could have copied the line that fucking had David Jones in it, right? All right, let's see if that works. Interesting. This is backwards. Age should have been going. So maybe I got my. You never change the age. For the second. The age. Well, the second one's twenty-five. I'm not twenty-five. Oh, you're trying. What are you trying age. to do? It should have been putting them in age order after the names. Oh, okay. So, which means my compare peaks. Where fuck it's at is backwards. That's gotta be the zero, that's gotta be the one. That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. Something's wrong here. That put him in the right order, though. So I've already got the older David in there. And I'm putting the newer David in. So, and how how is it set up? This is new versus old. That's how the comparator was working on people. If I is less than data, so if the new one's less, we go left. New is less than old. So if arg1, like if the new age is less than the old age, it should be working just like the Oh, yeah, that makes sense. We should one is true. So these should be ones.
tripping out. I'm just come back up here. I'm totally like messing with my head on on C out. Cool test. Equals uh, four is less than five. See out test. I should print out a one. Yeah, so true is one. I totally like my brain was farting on that. Like it didn't want to compute that. I so I think I got it right down here now. True is one, so that's what it was doing. Return one if it's true. We want it to go less. Otherwise, return zero. And we could have like a couple more people in here. We'll do uh Call this one James Earl. He's got to be 60 something. And so that's a first name after mine. Let's do a first name that's before mine. So, like, Anita. Make her 30. I don't know. 37. So it's going interesting. Anita came before me like she should. James should not have been before me, though. Did I fuck it up adding an Earl? I'm supposed to go to the right. Is R1 get last name the same as R2 get last name? First name was less. Returned one. Anita went to the left. And then when James comes in, James's first name is not greater than one. Oh, I don't have a. I know what I'm missing. I didn't have anything to say otherwise. You made it through all that. Turn zero. Nope. Yep. James James Jones is after me now. There we go. Now the last names are in order. Ew, none of them were in order earlier now that I think about it. So the names are in order, and then it goes by first name, then it goes by age. Look at that. That's awesome. I want to put James Earl Jones back in, because no one knows who the fuck James Jones is, but most people know who James Jones is, or James Earl Jones is. There we go. Bam. All right.
right, that's what I want to cover tonight. Uh, you got any questions, Kenny? Anybody else here? We got more people here. Sisa, you have any questions? Nope, I think that's good for me. Mm, okay. For me too, I don't have any questions. All right, we will, uh, we're going to start having, we don't have class this Friday because it's a holiday. Uh, we're celebrating Veterans Day. I might make a video, like a short video primer for hash, hash tables that will start next week. Uh, for, well, I think I got it on the schedule for Monday now that I think about it. I got Friday as a holiday. Got more on hash tables. We'll actually start looking at hash tables there and do the body of hash table work on Friday. Maybe I'll make something on hash functions this weekend and make a video. Uh, if you guys are available on Sunday or anything, just look on the announcements Sunday morning. If I do it, it'll be probably like Sunday afternoon sometime. Just check the announcements Sunday morning if you want to sit in on it. Otherwise, I'll make the video and air it. And other than that, I think it's going to be, that'll be a wrap for tonight. Have a good evening.